Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. And my name is Bimbo. Now, I have an exciting news to share to all my viewers and subscribers today, okay? Now, um, I'm sure prior to now, a whole lot of you are used to looking for information to move to Canada, to move to UK, to move to US, and, you know, probably some other beautiful and famous European countries like Portugal, where we reside. I mean, about four or five years ago, when we decided on Portugal, what was raining then was UK, US, and Canada. But we said, no, we are looking for an exciting, cheaper, and affordable European countries where we will be able to lay low with our, our lives and enjoy our lives without any disturbance. I mean, and European countries that promise an exciting opportunities for jobs, for PR, for citizenship, among other things. That is what influenced our decision to, you know, take Portugal as our home country. But, you know, now, yeah, almost everybody that I know now want to move to Portugal. They now see Portugal as, you know, an exciting place to move to. But there are other European countries where you can explore, where you can relocate to that have cheaper and affordable uh, 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 relocation opportunities, ways of life in that country. So, and I today I brought an exciting opportunity to everyone because when I saw that the government of this country are running and has to advertise for international workers, stating that whether you have secured a job in our country, you can move in, whether you are yet to secure a job in our country, you can also move in as long as your job falls within the in-demand professions that are actively needed in our country, you do not already need to, I mean, you do not need a work permit before you can move into our country. As long as you can, your job fall into uh, in-demand profession, you can move in. So today I'm going to be showing to you how you can, you know, search for jobs in this country using the government of this country website that they have designed for all international applicants, how you can search for job there to move to this country, and whether you do not, you know, whether you are yet to secure a job in this country, uh, if your job falls within the in-demand jobs professions that they have already listed, okay, you can also move to this country, and you do not need a work permit to work live in this country as long as your jobs for i mean i'm talking about jobs like plumber jobs like um chef caterer i'm talking about jobs like uh, hairdresser i'm talking like about, about jobs like you know tailors among other different jobs that are actively in demand in this country and which country am i talking about i'm talking about lithuania Yes, Lithuania is the country that I'm talking about. And this country also promised a relocation package. Now, this relocation package will be given to you when you have moved to this, to this country. So after working successfully within six months of moving to this country, that is when you can apply for this relocation package. Now, this relocation package is just to support all international workers for them to be able to live and work and integrate successfully in Lithuania. So... Yes, they are actively looking for those who will work and live in Lithuania, not those who will just come and make money and run to other European countries. Yes, their residence card in Lithuania give you access to all other European countries. But like I said, this is an exciting opportunity for everyone who want to move as a single individual or if you have a family. So today I'll be sharing opportunity to you on how you can move when you have secured a job. Yes, there are many IT-related jobs, you know, many jobs in productions, in accounting, manufacturing, among other things that this website promised to everyone. Also, it also shows opportunities for those who are probably not skills in not skills in any of these professions, but are looking to move to uh, Lithuania, as long as their jobs falls within the in-demand jobs professions that the government of Lithuania has already provided and has given exemptions to everyone that are working or that have skills in any of this profession that you do not need a work permit for you to move to Lithuania. And let me quickly say this, 
getting the visa for Lithuania is one of the easiest visa that you can ever process for your international passport or for yourself. Yes, the government of Lithuania, their visa process is one of the easiest visa that you know have ever. If everybody that have either registered for our consultation session, I usually advise them that uh, they should look towards other beautiful European countries like Lithuania and the likes because their visa processes, even Czech Republic, because their visa processes are very, very easy to process. So let's quickly check out this information. And if this is the kind of information that you're looking for, this is Jackpot with your days. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Don't forget to also share this video to your loved ones so that they will also be able to benefit and give this video a thumbs up, okay? Now, let's quickly check out this information, these opportunities to Lithuania. Now, this is the website of um, uh, uh, work in Lithuania. And in fact, before we go ahead, let me quickly show you some success story of those who have moved via this route and then so that at least you will see that it is not a joke this is real okay this is real for everyone so now these are some people's success story let's check uh for instance this person is from india arun bakskaran is from india and he moved to um uh, lithuania and is working as a business rep and control officer this is Misha Johanna is a customer success manager. He moved from Bangkok, okay? He moved from Bangkok to Lithuania. So, and then, and then let's quickly check another one. This is Bashini Patirani. This is Ricardo Schmidt. He's, oh, he also moved from, um, he moved from, where is the country? Yeah, he moved as an exchange student. And uh, this particular person moved from his home country, Sri, Sri Lanka. And there is a particular person that all Nigerians will be able, I mean, these are many people, but let's quickly check a particular person that all Nigerians will be able to resonate with. Okay, this is a Nigerian, Amarachi in Zekwe, is a Kiwi quality assurance engineer. And let's quickly check his own story. After starting a career in the Badon, Nigeria, Quality Assurance Engineer Amarachi Ezekwe decided to spend a year working at an ICT company in Corners. Three years and a global pandemic later, she has moved cities, changed jobs, and documented a journey on her on YouTube channel. We sat down with Amarachi to talk about vlogging, career moves, and the tech scene in Lithuania. So I'm sure all Nigerians will be able to. So you see that uh, this is not a joke, okay? This is real. Okay, now that is one, and this is another person, Alex Wong is a front end developer who moved from Spain to Lithuania. So, and there are many other success stories. If you want to read more, you can also click on here to look, read more of people's success story that have moved from their own country all over the world to Lithuania, and they have decided to share their stories and how they have been able to move from their own country down to Lithuania. Now, let's quickly get some order. I mean, of course, if you if you want to um, search for other open positions, I mean, when when this was when I saw this, it was there are, there are many jobs that have been posted in here. It's running about 200, 200 plus. But now I think probably because the, the, uh, some of those employers have um, you know given those positions out. That is why it is remaining only about ninety one positions. So you can sort out this position by. The sectors that you are looking for by uh, the um, job types, position types, and if you are looking for the type of monthly salary range, the location in Lithuania, and the contract type, if you are looking for full-time, part-time. However, these are the type of jobs that are available in Lithuania, master data analyst, senior information security specialist, you know, senior business analyst, associate. So this is for those who want to Try to secure a job who are professionals in their field and want to try to secure a job before and you can see their salary range and the low for as low as 3900 euro to 4400 euro per month so they pay very well in this country so and of course qa engineer quality assurance engineer business analyst and you know 
and their standard, I mean, their, their way of life and things are very, very cheap in Lithuania, software developer, Java. So this is for office manager. Yes, this is office manager. So they are looking for, this is for professionals who already have, you know, um, are developing their field and they know what they are looking for. So you can look for all the, you can stream or sort out all the open positions, if you need to one open position to see if your, if your own is advertised on there, or you can even sign up, create a profile, add your CV, add your profile and every of your profession into it. So that by the time any employer posts any job position, they will immediately alert the employer and you yourself will immediately be alerted. Now, that is for those who are professionals and want to move to Lithuania with an already issued work permit. Now, let's also check some other, I mean, like I said, this website is actually designed for international applicants and it contains a whole lot of information. Now, let's also check another way in which those who uh, do not have a job can also move in. Now, make Lithuania your home, okay? Now, step-by-step -step relocation guide. So, now, the necessary doc before you move to Lithuania, the necessary document that you need how to get help with relocation, relocating with your family, how to relocate with your family, bringing your pets for those who, are, who have a pet, how to uh, get into Lithuania, then how to find accommodation. So you see, the website is particularly designed to help everyone. To be, so because if the government of Lithuania can be throwing a Google ad to show that, uh, yes, all, I mean, they are, they are trying to attract international applicants to come to work in Lithuania, and if their job professions falls within the in-demand job opportunity. They are even saying that you don't even need to uh, have a work permit to, to move. So, which means all the visiting visa and the tourist visa that you guys are applying for, looking for a tourist visa, and don't look for all of those things in those countries. Just if you if you if you can even use a tourist visa or visiting visa to move to Lithuania and your jobs falls within the in-demand job profession, that means you don't even need a work permit to work successfully in this country. So that's just a little tip. So yes, uh, this is before you move and this is after you have already moved to Lithuania, other you know, commuting opportunity, how to open a bank account, how to declare your place of residence, how to visit international house, how to get your social security and health number. And then the most juicy part, like I said, is the financial relocation incentive that is given to everyone. So if you want to read about any of this, you know, details about any of this information, you can, you know, scroll down to get details about each of the information that I have talked about earlier. But let's quickly check for the financial relocation incentives. Now, like I said, this financial relocation incentives is given to those who have relocated to Lithuania, not that they will give it to you from your own country. No, it is to those who have already moved to Lithuania and are looking, I mean, and after six months, they are saying that uh, you are entitled to 3,788 euro to help cushion the effect of the expenses that you have incurred to move to Lithuania. So it, they are actually looking for people that will come live and work in Lithuania, not people that will just make have money after making one or two money, they run out of the country. So you must have lived in Lithuania for at least minimum of six months before you can apply for this relocation cost. Now, let's quickly check this relocation cost. Financial incentives for employees applies to both foreign nationals and the Kenya experts. So all eligible employees can apply for the relocation incentives no sooner than six months, but no later than two years after starting employment in Lithuania. Relocation to Lithuania application for the financial incentive must, place, must take place between January 1st, 2022 and May 31st. 2025, and this is the amount that everybody is eligible to, 3,788 euro is what will be paid to everyone who moves. So, which means they are also asked, they, they are also telling you that we will pay you to move to our country, okay, to come and work. Now, let's now check the, uh, the, the, the list of in-demand jobs, okay, or, or before we even go into that, now let's quickly check when are foreigners not required to obtain a work permit or a decision on compliance? Now, a foreigner whose profession is included in the, in the list of professions for which there is a shortage of workers 
in the Republic of Lithuania, according to the type of economic activity, in this case, quotas are applied once the quota is exhausted. So which means there are quotas for different industries for all applicants. So which means if you if there's still quota for those who want to apply for uh, those who want to work in Lithuania without work permit, if the quota is yet to be filled, you are eligible. Let's quickly even check the the list of the quota. For instance, service industry. This is the quota that they have. This is the one that you have used. This is the one that is left for industries. For industries like uh, scaffolding, insulators. You know, you can check all of these things out. They still have quota left. So, which means they still have constructions in services in agriculture, forestry, fisheries. They still have more quotas left for those who want to move to Lithuania and work without the work permit. Now, let's check the list of the in-demand. So <clears throat> you can monitor you can monitor the established quota here. Now, this is the list of the 2024 shortage occupation can be found here. So when you click on here, it will take you to the list of the 2024 um, jobs that are, this is the list of profession with a lack of employees in the Republic of Lithuania by type of economic activity. So this is a list of people that they are looking for in construction, they are looking for brick layer, finishing massing, concrete fitter, concrete worker, uh, road pipe, road tipper, plaster, tiler, I mean, plumber, you know, pipe layer, plumber, I mean, the welder, the list goes, electric weather, gas weather, gas and electric weather, I mean, the list goes in industry sector, they are looking for carpenter, uh, boiler and pipe insulator, uh, ship uh, welder, electric weather, gas welder, I mean, blacksmith, metal polisher, metal, the list goes, assembler, the list goes on and on. They are looking for baker, they are looking for meat slicer, the butcher. So these are the people, these are the in-demand list of occupation that can move to Lithuania. This in the service, in, in the service sector, computer scientist, the cook, uh, diesel train driver, electric train driver, bus driver. These are the people that they are looking for. So and, and with these people, you do not need a work permit to move to Lithuania. And like I said, Lithuania visa is one of the easiest visa to process. Okay, as long I mean, as I said, all those uh, um, uh, looking for uh, a work, I mean, a tourist visa, visiting visa to other EU countries and the likes. Channel all your energy if your jobs falls within any of these in-demand jobs in Lithuania. Channel all your energy and um, uh, use it to apply for Lithuania uh, visa, okay? And with that, once you move to Lithuania and your jobs falls within this profession, you are good to go. And like they have already provided uh, information on this website, which I'll be providing on the video description, okay? They have already provided what the step-by-step, -step, all the things that you need to do when you have moved to Lithuania, how you, how to move to Lithuania, what you need to do to move to Lithuania. So the necessary steps that you need to do to be able to show that your jobs is among the list of jobs that are, you know, that are in demand jobs in Lithuania. So, I mean, what, what excuse? And I really would want everybody to channel all their energy to move. And uh, you can move with your family, so you have no excuse. They even say here that uh, if you want to move with your pet, and also move with your pet. So what excuse would you say you have that would not make you not to want to move to Lithuania? Like I said, about um, about about five or four years ago, when we uh, decided on Portugal, I mean, it, it was, I mean, the population of Nigerians in Portugal four or five years ago when we came in, was around maybe we, we are not up to you know 600 or thereabouts in Portugal, but now we are running thousands here already because it looks like Portugal is the reigning thing. But there are other European countries that they have not that that they are yet to to that Africans or Nigerians or international applicants are yet to tap. And that will really, really make a whole lot of sense. Because imagine if a whole government is advertising that they are in need of international workers, whether professionals or not professionals, as long as your jobs or professional falls within their in-demand activities, you can move in 
and work there without a work permit. So what excuse would you say you have? So that is why I said you can move into uh, Lithuania, work there, enjoy your life, live your life, you know, silently without any border and with their residence permit after you've been, uh, after you've applied and in gotten it, if you want to vacate, if you want to uh, go on vacations to all, any other European countries, their residence permit, give because it's a Schengen country, it's an EU country that give you access to all other European Country. So this is the information that uh, I want to quickly share with everyone, and, and I would, of course, if you have any questions, if you want, uh, if you want to, you know, speak with us, you can register for a consultation session so that that so that we can help you with one or two things regarding your application. Lithuania is a very great country. is a is a is a very uh, uh I mean good country, very affordable ways of life, and then you know everything you need cheap cheap food cheap accommodation cheap e almost everything that you want to uh, that you can think of especially for those that are using that uh, criteria to move to portugal now this is another exciting country you can also study their their their, their study opportunity is also very affordable for everyone okay so and yeah that is what we want to talk about today don't forget drop comment on our comment section and, want, if you, and if you want to speak with us via one-on-one, -on -one, you can register for our consultation session and we'll be able to try and address all your questions. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. So we come your way next time. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye for now.